All right, this is the third segment in our uh, tour of Judith Sargent Murray, the, the Judith Sargent Murray house. And you're going to show me a very special place. And this place is literally, I just measured it with my hands and stuff. I figure about uh, three feet wide and about uh, six and a half feet long. And w what is this? this? This very special, almost sacred place. This is Judith's writing closet. And this it, is it where literally is a closet. It's a literally a closet. It's right backed up next to the chimney. So in the winter, it was a warm spot in the house. Mm -hmm. It is a place where she could come and have some privacy away from the bustle of the household. Mm -hmm. And it is where she wrote a lot of things. Yeah. And um, you know, it's just it's spine tingling to think about that she actually wrote that things was, right here. That was the spot this where her spot. feet are right now. Her, her feet were now. Tell and me she something. She writes a lot about what she saw out the window what was going on in the harbor. In this very exact this spot. This very spot right here. And you said that the, in the whole country that you think that there might be only three or four of these kind That's of writing right. closets. That's right. There's one that I know of in Newport. There's one outside of Philadelphia and there's this one. Wow. All right. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to show you what it's like to be in this little room and this little writing desk where she would write and look out the window at the harbor and it's just you just just enough space to, to walk around and then over here in her bedroom there's uh something of an exhibit that's uh very cool that Judith's going to talk yeah, to us I'm about Judy Nast again Judy right? Nast yeah, back yeah. again so um can you yeah we got get it. a good picture of these are um they look like old flattened shoes and that's what they are they're called concealment shoes. And these came out of this building? And they came out of this building. They were found up in the attic. They're often found near a chimney underneath attic floorboards. And in the 18th century, people would put them uh, in their houses um, to protect against evil. And the theory is that they used old shoes and worn shoes because shoes are the only piece of clothing that you have that retain your shape when you take them off. So by putting an old worn shoe that has the shape of your foot in it, it's a little, it's a little bit like putting a little bit of yourself in your house to protect it. Very cool. So, very cool. And I had to mention this for my father. This is for my father. If he ever reads the blog, this is the paragoric dad that we're going to give the kids when they start screaming and you get all nervous. See, they, they still got some paragoric. I can come over here and steal it and uh, we'll give it to the kids. No problem. You don't have to listen to them scream anymore. All right. There you go. <laughs> but this is just a beautiful room. All right, let's go over here to the, uh, to the other room. What, what do you call this other room upstairs? This is another bed chamber. Bed chamber? Ch bed chamber. That's the official 18th century lingo. 18th century lingo. And uh, where did this bed come from? Well, this bed actually um, came from Natchez. This bed belonged to her brother. When you say, did you say Matches or Natchez? Natchez. What and does they, Natchez mean? Natchez is a city in Mississippi on the Mississippi River. Okay. It was a pretty big port. It was um, a center of slave trading. It was a very busy, busy, busy place. And there were a lot of uh, planters who built uh, plantations there. Oh. And his, Winthrop, her brother Winthrop, was the governor of Mississippi um, in the late 18th century mm -hmm. and he built a house called Gloucester. That was his plantation. In Mississippi? In Natchez, Mississippi. Natchez. Yep. Washington appointed him governor of Mississippi, territorial colonial governor, and um, this was a bed that came from his house. Cool. Very nice. Thank you.